but it, it's quite emotional. Yeah, this could this could easily be the hardest one I've ever done. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Geo Detective, your favourite online geography-based detective series in which I attempt to locate the exact whereabouts of a subject in a photograph. More often than not, it's one of you guys. But sometimes I like to do something a little bit more special. I started introducing these specials probably seven or eight episodes in. And let me tell you what I've got for you today in terms of the story behind it uh, trumps all that we've had in the past. We've had some pretty interesting ones trying to find old family photos, grandmothers in the 1950s, grandfathers in the 1920s traveling the world, the undeveloped film in Western Supermare, the Paris painting, The Soldier in the Alps. But when I received an email a month or two back from a young man called Morris Chan, I had to jump this one to the front of the queue. Hello, Tom. Well, the title of the email is My Murdered Father's Location. Right. After my father was killed, I discovered photos from his past amongst his things and the countless unanswered questions came flooding in. I am going to Taiwan in April and hope to ride a motorcycle to the exact spot my father stopped on the side of the road in the photo below and take a matching photograph. This is a very, very important pilgrimage for, for Morris to follow in his father's footsteps and get a memento from that that will last him forever. So this is important stuff here. Now, he does know that this photo was in Taiwan. Whereas usually I've got the whole world to search, we are just going to be searching in Taiwan. That doesn't mean this is going to be easy, however. All I know is this is in Taiwan in the mid to late 70s. I don't know if it's north, central or south. I do, however, have reasonable degrees of confidence that it looks more or less the same, i.e. not many buildings have been built here. Because, according to elderly relatives in Taiwan, they feel that the look of the location, the hill, etc., basically the, the terrain, all point to this being a rural throughway that wouldn't have been developed. Now, based on my experience in Taiwan on GeoGuessr, I would agree. We're next to a hill. Well, it's, it's a very distinct looking mountain actually. And, and by the way, that is what's going to find this place for me. No question about it. That is what, that's what I'll be searching for on Google Earth using the mountain feature, the terrain feature. But we do also have a hill over there in the background as well. That being said, anything is possible. So hopefully my elderly relative's words aren't taken as gospel, but just thought that could be helpful. He says, after all, if this area was in fact developed, well, all bets are off. Presumably he means if there's a great big factory here, there's no point taking a photograph because it won't look anything like the original. Or maybe he means I won't find it. I think he means the, fur, the, the former. There you go. Obviously, he needed me to do this within uh, three months of his email. And I have obliged. So thank you, Morris, for your email. I'm touched that you would task me with this. Without any further ado, let's get searching. I've got Google Earth open already with Taiwan waiting there. It's a fairly big country, believe it or not. So it may take a while. So let's get into this. Right then. How do we begin? We don't know if we're near the sea, so we could be anywhere on the island. This mountain, is it Googleable? You know, could we type in small, small steep mountain? I think it's pretty safe to say that this one is going to be one of the more Google free ones that I've had. It's going to be primarily a Google Earth based one. Searching using the terrain feature. By going in like this, going on terrain, and already we can see just how many mountains there are, but I don't think there's any point in searching in these very mountainous areas, which take up a lot of room, you know. There's no way, I mean, look, there's lots of flatness here. We surely are somewhere more in an area like this, where you've got 
flat parts, the odd little mountain here and there, that's actually a series of plateaus, which looks quite interesting, but let's find an even more suitable area. God, it's a big country. Shit. <laughs> somewhere, yeah, somewhere like this. Perhaps. Um, you know, where flat meets slightly undulating. But even so, <laughs> what's my plan of action? Do I just start searching? Do I just go into it willy-nilly? Do I do area by area? I don't know, do a bit of Googling. What's the main touristy roads in Taiwan? Is there a road that, you know, passes through some particularly significant areas for monasteries or history? He's chosen to take this photo in front of this mountain. Maybe it's a mountain that has some significance. Maybe it's holy. Maybe it's got a story behind it. So I think before we just search, 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 we should probably do a bit of Googling, just in case. I mean, I might just stumble across it. I mean, he might be by the... I think I do the coast first, because thinking about it, traveling the coast is a nice thing to do. <laughs> he's, he's, on, he's on a bike trip, isn't he? Morris's father, he's got, a, he's got satchels on the back, he's got satchels on the side. He's on a little trip. And if he's on a little trip, I think you'd follow the coast. I, th I, th I think that's more likely than not. So, famous mountains in Taiwan. Now, a lot of these are going to be big, big mountains, the tallest mountains of Taiwan. But you never know, this little tiddler might show up if it's famous. I'm not expecting it to, but like, look at that. Maybe even like, Famous rock. Is that in Taiwan? Okay, nothing from that. I didn't think we would. Famous coastal road, Taiwan. In terms of the shadow thing, by the way, it is quite tricky because we don't know whether the sun is rising or setting. If the sun is about to set, then that's north, roughly, to the left. But I reckon it's risen. I reckon it's about 9 or 10 a.m., which would mean that that's roughly north to the right. Is that right? I sometimes get these things wrong, no matter how hard I try. It's not really helpful, to be honest. It doesn't really help me. If I'm searching for this mountain, whether it's north or south really doesn't, doesn't affect things that much. So maybe it's better we don't confuse ourselves. You do get these little mini mountains that arise from flat lands. So I could keep an eye out for these. But yeah, it's just really hard to know what to do first, really, because it is such a big country I'm, I'm discovering. You know, I am an idiot, and my first instinct was to go, oh, it's just, uh, just Taiwan, so th this will be, you know, a lot quicker than usual, but you saw how much I struggled in the London one the other week. That was just London. So yeah, this could, this could easily be the hardest one I've ever done. At the moment, I'm just searching this huge Hualien Valley that works its way down the uh, east coast. Don't know why, just getting a good feeling about it. I think next move is to scour the entire coast. <laughs> It feels massive. It feels bigger than Britain. Is it bigger than Britain? Let's get that there. No. No, it's not at all. No, it's nowhere near as big, is it? But it feels big. Okay, just before I scour the coast, I'm going to do a little bit more Googling, but I haven't got a clue what I'm going to type in. Um, scenic Road, Taiwan. I wonder, these plants... I wonder if they're more prevalent in the north or south of Taiwan. Whenever I try and make a guess in Taiwan, especially when I'm up against the clock, I sometimes think to myself, oh, is this more tropical or less tropical, south or north? But I don't actually know if there's any point in doing that. I don't know if there's much of a difference. 
I'm on Plonkit, a brilliant website for GeoGuessr tips to see if there's any, oh, let's go control F, uh, tropical is the word I've searched for, agriculture and vegetation. Maybe we can find something here from the image that's Googleable. Coconut palms, look, there's, I mean, I don't think we can see any on our image. That does confirm my suspicions that the south was slightly more tropical than the, than the north. Areca palm plantations, no. I'm looking out for these things. They're all, they almost look like aloe vera or whatever they're called. Ah, and we are past the foliage. Dang. I think it's safe to say that nothing on this website to do with the road markings or the signs is going to apply to a photo from the late 70s. Very, very useful site this. Do check it out if you play GeoGuessr. But sadly, nothing that really relates to this. Last thing I can Google here, Taiwan aloe vera plant. If that is aloe vera, I'm trying to find a, a sort of map yeah, you can just see it there. It seems to be filling Taiwan. That's the only map I can find. Look, this is this is straw clutching Googling here, but what else can I do? Okay, God. At this point, I'm really not feeling hopeful. Right, I'm going to start at the very tip. I'm gonna start at the very most southern point tip, which is down here. I'm gonna work my way clockwise, scouring the coast, um, you know, and near the coast. Just get, get all of that done so that we know the coast is done. And I'm, of course, I'm gonna be moving the camera around, moving it up and down to look out for, ooh, <laughs> things like that. Things like that. Things exactly like that. Yeah, uh, that isn't it, I, I don't think, but that's what I'm looking out for. You can see the rocks on there. We can see, oh, hello. How you doing, you all right? Uh, we can see the rocks on there and we can see the rocks there. So that's good, it's promising. So that's what I'm looking out for. That's all we've got, wish me luck. So already, I didn't need to speed that up, already we've got this little thing here as well. There's probably a lot of these things, that's probably what's going on. This one, there's another one. Let's just put the man down, let's just get a feel for these places. No, probably the best bit we've found yet, but still a long way off. That's a bit of a butte. Uh -huh. That is exactly the kind of thing we're looking for, isn't it? God, that don't half look similar. Look at this thing in the middle. That big bit there. Looks like that. God, that... You got that bit there and that bit there, and then this line here. That bit there, that bit there, this line here. That is uncannily like it, guys. I actually think that's it. I don't, I don't believe this. I've been looking for about, well, I don't know exactly, two, a minute, a minute, I would say. Is this right? It just looks exactly the same to me. You've got that bit there, that bit there, there and there. Oh my God. The only thing that's really confusing me here is the roads. So, now wait a minute. This road will be will be new. Can we get an old, old imagery? How old can we go here imagery wise? If we can get to like, yeah, here's 2010. Ah, now. I can be in danger of going too close. 
so we could be further back here. My only issue with that is the road obviously bends round to the right of the mountain, whereas here I don't think that's that's what's happening. What's more likely is that we're there. That's the only option, isn't it? 2010 is the furthest we're going to be able to go back. And I can't get the man down there. This is a bit of a tricky one. I've never been quite so excited about something, but unsure at the same time, I don't think. Right, we can Google this road. First of all, though, I'm going to get in the best position I can get. If this is the same bit of mountain, then this road, this whole place has changed. They've dug away at a lot of this here. And as for that over there, we can see a hill. That could be that in the distance. So I'm going to put our guy down here for a moment. I hope this is right. This would be a complete waste of time. If not, <laughs> we need a good view. I don't think we're going to get a good view because of all the trees. What's that like for an angle? I wish we could see a bit more. Right, here's an idea. I'm going to go into Google Maps now. Cheng. Cheng indeed. Cheng more like. Um, no, let's not get ahead of ourselves. There's Cheng. Let's get the satellite up. Gorilla Rock. Is that? Is that it? Crocodile Rock. We've got Crocodile Rock. Gorilla Rock. La 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 la. Okay, we've got the name of this thing now. That's not what I was going in there for. I was going in for some older street view. Well, let's let's do that first. That's what, and then and then we'll Google uh, Gorilla Rock. Right. See more dates. September two thousand and nine. That's what I wanted. That is what I wanted. All the trees haven't grown yet. Unbelievable. You you can't see the road bending round even in its modern state. And you've got this right. Let. This is it. This is the moment of truth. Yeah, look. You can see. Oh, that is that is just it, isn't it? That is just it. I do not believe that. I'll be damned if that's wrong. You can see the dome shape of this hill in the foreground. You can see. I mean, it's not exactly the same, but that's because, well, A, we're in a different spot. That's going to be the next challenge to find the exact spot. We're in a slightly different spot, but also... The appearance of this mountain will have changed. I mean, little chunks of that will have dropped off. Um, trees have grown. Uh, they've grown since 2009 here. So they, it's, uh, the, the foliage certainly will have changed since the late 70s. I cannot believe... Uh, no, seriously, guys. That is by far and away the luckiest I've ever been on any of these searches. I actually said to you earlier that this could take me the longest of any search and I found that okay I was sort of half searching earlier on 10 minutes or so but in terms of when I started my coastal search I was right about the coast thing wasn't I it was a minute it was a minute and I found and identified the rock here's an idea here is an idea map of Taiwan and we can translate 1975. Map of Taiwan, 1975, right? Because this, this is gonna confirm to us where the road was. Was the road in the same position? Probably. Or is this a new bend in the road? Did it, did it previously go this side? You know, was it slightly to the left? Was it slightly to the right? I would say it's probably the same, but Let's find this out. Vintage map of Taiwan. I don't know what year that's from. Okay, let's take a step back. Um, districts of Taiwan map. We are in Ping Lung. Oh, it's Ping Tung. Obviously. Right, Cheng. Come on, Cheng. Let's have let's have it. View this map. Don't make me sign up. Don't make me do stuff. Chen Cheng. Uh, that's too zoomed out. I'm struggling to find an old map of 
Ping Tung. But the 26, the Ping Road 26. Let's see if we can find some, you know, when was that built? Right, Provincial Highway 26, Taiwan. There it is, that's the one. Got a whole Wikipedia article. Control find, 1-9. Doesn't say when they built it. Ah, that's a bit annoying and a bit stupid. Right, what we've learned is that the road probably does bend round to the right and goes in between this mound and this one. Who'd have thought it? Can we see any evidence of that if we look really closely? I don't think we can. However, we do have this little mound here. I wonder whether that's still there. I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure we found our place, guys. What I'm doing now is I'm trying to pinpoint. I have to be... I'm finding the exact spot, uh, especially important on this one because Morris needs to know the exact spot um, or as close as we can possibly get for him to recreate his photo. There isn't, there isn't any cleavage in the photo. See? No cleavage. Right, how's that for an angle? Bit better, isn't it? That is better. We're here, we can't friggin' see. And that's way off. I think it's quite possible that the road hugs quite close to the, the main Gorilla Rock and that they've actually taken some off it for the construction of the road. Yeah, definitely. To build this road, they definitely could have taken some off this and added it on over here. To widen this road then, to widen this road. They definitely could have eaten into that, which would change this view. Hold on. That one there. It could have been more of a gentle slope. I don't know what this is. Oh. That's that. That's this here. I didn't even see that because it's masked so brilliantly by the mountain. So, okay, that helps us massively. Right, we now know that that is the mound that we see here. So we are not quite that far back. So we've narrowed it down. We've narrowed it down. I do think that's changed slightly, but I think we are in line with these trees. So that is bad news for Morris because when he takes his photo, he's going to have to chop down some trees, basically, if he wants that to be visible. Um, in fact, it's not good news at all because if you go to 2021, it's really, really blocked off by trees. So that is bad news for you, Morris. But the good news is I can pretty safely say that the photo was taken there. That might well be the ditch. That is it. I, I can't believe how quickly that fell into place. Absolutely amazing. Uh, maybe it was meant to be, Morris. Maybe your father is looking down somehow and watching me and, and, and guided me to that spot. Isn't that a lovely thought? Um, wow, what an experience this has been. It was short, I know, it was sweet, but it, it's quite emotional to, to, to do this. Isn't it a mad world we live in where I can... Who has ever, do, has anyone ever done that before? Only in the last 10 years really has, has this been possible. And you've got to take a step back sometimes and think, wow, what an what a incredible time we live in. What a mad time, what a turbulent time, what a fucked up time. But what a, an incredible time we live in. I am sorry though, Morris, that your view is going to be so impaired. It was always a risk, wasn't it? It was always going to be a tall order for for no buildings or trees to have erected themselves in this spot. I imagine you had a lot of hope that you this scene could, could still exist, but it looks like it is going to be a bit blocked off for you. But you can at least stand in this spot. You can still take a photo uh, where your old man once stood Maybe, I mean, maybe you could go up there. Maybe the road was up there, man. I mean, the telegraph poles are, are that side. So maybe, just maybe, the road 
wasn't here maybe it was up there so you'd have to go in line and then maybe if you stand up there you'll have the view of th of the mountain have a look don't get don't get bitten by any snakes or anything but yeah i can put the man down i can put the pin down i can go one better that's where i'm going morris chan not quite the real name by the way gorilla rock was the place that your father, one of the places that your father decided was, was worthy of stopping having his photo taken. Maybe you can climb it. I just hope, Morris, that this video has honored your father in some way. Everyone watching has, has seen his cheery face. He looks like a really nice bloke. May he rest in peace. If you have something similar to this, I mean, this is quite an incredible one, but if you have um, a family mystery or an old family photo that really has a good story behind it, do email it to me. My email is on my homepage on, on desktop if you want to reach me. I do get a lot of these and there's no way I can do them all. But yeah, if you have a really good one, do send them my way and we can make more people happy like, like Morris. That is it. Oh no, we've, we've still got to colour in the green. I'm pretty sure we can do that within 25 meters, because I, I actually do believe that that ditch is this one. I, I think it's been made bigger uh, by man, so that it you know, doesn't flood the road, but this is the spot, guys, within, within 25 meters. And that just about rounds up this video. Thank you so much for watching and being a part of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a like if you did. Uh, it really helps it get out there for more people to enjoy. The views have been dropping on these sorts of videos in the in recent months and years, which is the same across YouTube, really. So it really helps me uh, if you give it a like, bump the views up a bit, basically. Yeah, do stay tuned and subscribed for more of these in the future. And of course, next week, definitely tune in on Wednesday for an enthralling and exciting race across the Isle of Man against my straight line missioning rivals. See you there, guys. Take care.